Stick RPG is a life simulator game released in... I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was sometime around 2003, but I couldn't find much info on this game, so I was going in pretty blind. The version I'll be playing today is Stick RPG Complete, which has a few upgrades over the original version, such as a bus depot. Anyways, let's get started with our new stick figure life. Wow, that is a pretty interesting title screen. It gives me an aquatic feeling. However, I also feel that the game doesn't have any aquatic themes to it whatsoever. Here, we can select how long our game is gonna be. I'm just gonna play it safe and do an unlimited game. You can also change our character's stats. Pretty neat. My name will be Scootikip, and I'll try and have some balance of stats with a heavy emphasis on intelligence. Because if there's one thing I'm totally not lacking, it's... intelligence. Whoa, what's going on here? What's that? Is that a space satellite or something? I don't know what's happening. Also, that background noise is getting pretty fucking annoying. Question mark? Yeah, me too. Okay. Well, that blue dot there was my character, apparently, and now we're in this small suburban area. Let's talk to this guy. Hey man, do you have any smokes? I'm old enough to smoke, it's just... I... Uh... Er... Forgot my ID at home. Please? Yeah, that seems legit. Alright, well, what's this place? New Lines Incorporated? Well, let's check it out. Oh, hey, we can apply for a job here. Oh. Never mind. Apparently I'm not smart enough. Well, I guess I need to get more smarter if I want to get this job. There's also this bank where I can buy real estate and get a loan. However, I don't think that I need to be here right now. Here's my apartment. I can sleep, check messages, and save my game. Seems pretty cool so far. This is a furniture store, only with one purchasable furniture being a single bed. I bet it's safe to assume that they're probably not going to stay in business much longer. Oh, hey, there's a McDonald's. Well, if I can't work at New Line, I guess I could work here. Wait a second, I, I don't even need to apply for a job? I could just walk into McDonald's and work for money without actually needing to get a legal job here. No application, no interview, just work. Just walk in, say, nah, I want money. And they're all like, oh, okay, just make some fucking burgers and you'll be all good to go. What's this? I can't seem to work anymore. Oh, shit, it's because I'm almost out of time for the day. Better get back to my apartment for sleep. So, yes, this is basically the game right now. Just grinding back and forth between McDonald's and my apartment for money. Sleeping and working over and over again. The ceaseless circle of life. Never changing. Never ending. The same. Monotonous. Tripe. Also, my job title is McSlave. Pleasant. Come on, there's gotta be more to do in this game than just work my life away at McDonald's. Oh, well, there's a bar that I could go to. Hey, I could get into a bar fight, let's do that. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh fuck, I don't know what's happening. Someone help! So yeah, this is a turn-based RPG-like bar fight minigame. Choose an attack, get attacked. Choose an attack, get attacked. Choose an attack, I bet you'll never guess what happens next. Well, the enemy dies, that's what fucking happens. Right now, I can only choose one type of attack, the only attack that costs one attack point. I thought that I could save up attack points by skipping my move that round, but no. It doesn't work like that. Also, sometimes you have to say that you're done with your attack, and other times it just lets the other enemy attack when you run out of attack points. It's random, I know. Oh, shit. I didn't expect for his fucking head to crack open. Also, I found $8 on him. Murdering people and stealing money from their pocket with no legal consequence or penalty. This is a perfect game. Also, there's this orange guy sitting outside the bar. He looks like he could use some help. Could you spare some change? Eh, yeah, sure. $10 should be fine. Ah, oh, cool. I got six more charm points for that. So basically, so far, I've murdered someone and stole their money, but I've also donated to the poor. It still doesn't excuse the murder, but I don't really care. Oh, what's this? A cliff to nowhere with a floating car hovering above it? A oh, fucking course. What else did I expect? Also, cars materializing out of nowhere. Spooky. Hmm, what's this building? Ah, a convenience store. Selling slushies, candy, nachos, smokes, and even caffeine pills. I'm gonna buy a pack of smokes for that kid by the street corner. I'll see what happens when he takes them. I also decide to take a smoke, and it turns out that smoking cigarettes makes your charm level go up. Remember, kids, smoking is most certainly cool, and super charming. So anyways, giving the kid a pack of smokes prompts him to give you a skateboard. So, I shorten your lifespan a little bit, and in return, you give me a skateboard? Uh, fair trade, I guess? 
Also, I'm really happy I managed to get the skateboard, because now I can basically use it as a dash. Whenever I hold down shift, I go faster, and that should make the money grinding a bit faster as well. Well, hello there, sir. What do you have to say to me? Oh. You want to sell me cocaine? <laughs> okay, then. No, thank you? Ah, fuck it, why not? Also, this here's a pawn shop. It sells a handgun, a knife, a CD alarm clock, and a cell phone. Ah, yes. Back when cell phones looked like that. Oh, early 2000s. You weren't that great of a time period, were you? Anyways, I decided to go back to the job grind for a while to earn some money, and damn, I forgot how boring the job grind was. Also, I decided to try out caffeine pills. Basically, all they do is give you some extra time in the day, but they destroy 20 of your HP, so they nearly fucking killed me. Also, they only work once, and it only lets me take one extra shift for the day. Well, they're useless for me now, but I could see them being a lot more useful if I had a higher paying job. Sadly, that just isn't the case. I also found the University of Stick, which is basically the place where I could go to become more smarter. I spent nearly an entire day just studying until I realized that for just $20, I could go to a class and earn double the intelligence in just the same amount of time. Also, that $20 went to waste because my character just fell asleep in class, are you fucking kidding me? Anyways, after Bandicam decided to stop recording because for some reason I fucking thought I wasn't registered, I applied for the job again and finally managed to get it. Congratulations, you are now a... Janitor? Janitor. Are you fucking serious? I seriously need to go to college to become a janitor? I mean, no offense to anyone who's actually a janitor, but I don't think that's the kind of job that you need to go through university for. Whatever, I got the job. Now what? Oh, nothing. It's just the same grind. But now I'm just making a bit more money. Well, after more tedious grinding, I decided to go back to University of Stick to pursue a higher education so I could hopefully get a promotion. After spending just one day at uni, I'm finally smart enough to work as... Mailroom clerk. Yay! Back to the grind! Holy shit! You grind more in this game than you fucking grind in Tony Hawk's games. Also, I noticed that my once dark blue character became white. I assume this had to do with stress, since I have been spending the past few weeks working and attending classes, so I decided to take a day off at the bar, get drunk, and play drunken darts. <laughs> uh, holy fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. I then decide to go to the bus depot, and all I could do is sell commodities. I can't even buy bus tickets. All I could do was sell commodities, and I don't even have a commodity to sell because I have no idea how the fuck to buy them! I don't know if I'm stupid or if this game just doesn't explain shit very well. Anyways, after going back to the grind, I eventually managed to get the job of salesperson. Anyways, after grinding for a while more, working my way to supervisor position and playing around a bit, I decide to go into work one random day and guess what happens? Go on. Guess. I'll give you five seconds to guess. The game froze. The game? Fucking froze. And despite the fact that I had saved the game numerous times prior to it freezing, the game couldn't load up my save file when I refreshed the page. So, either the game has a broken save feature, or that crash deleted or corrupted my save. I had been playing for nearly half a fucking hour, and my save date is just gone. Fuck. Well, that was Stick RPG. The game is, in my opinion, grinding and boring. However, apparently there's a lot more to do in the game besides what I did. There are apparently multiple other cities to visit, houses to buy and furnish, and you could apparently even run for president. While playing the game, I got a pretty big Jones in the Fastlane vibe from it, which if you don't know what that is, it's a life sim board game PC game that was developed by Sierra Entertainment in 1990. If you'd like to see more about that, click here to see a video on it by YouTuber Brutal Moose. But apparently, yeah, the Jones in the Fastlane feel was intentional, according to the game's website, so good job. The game has a few issues, such as bar fights occasionally breaking, and the game freezing and making me lose my save data. But for a first attempt into the world of Flash games, X-Gen Studios did a pretty good job with it. I'd suggest it if you're looking for a Flash game to play, and if you're really into grinding in video games. However, I would honestly suggest playing Stick RPG 2 instead. I've never played Stick RPG 2, but since it's the sequel, and it looks so much better than the first game, I'm just going to assume it's a lot better. Well, that was the end of the video. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, you could check out my Don't Chat With Strangers review here and my Toontown Online review here. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on the video. 
I'd also appreciate a comment, and some constructive criticism would be nice so I can hopefully improve my videos. If you'd like to see my future videos, you can subscribe to my channel so all my future content ends up in your sub box. Also, if you have any ideas for my future videos, leave a comment about them. I'm open to ideas for my videos. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.